In this video, we're going to explore an exciting new feature in Evernote, backlinks. I've been using Evernote since 2009 and have accumulated close to 6,000 notes. While Evernote's search function is powerful and allows me to find any note quickly, one limitation has been its inability to connect notes together. For example, when researching a vacation, I would save several web clippings of ideas in separate notes, and to better organize them, I would use a vacation tag to group all relevant notes together but they would still remain as distinct separate notes. With backlinks, you can now easily see and navigate to any notes that are linked to the one you are currently viewing, making it much simpler to cross-reference related content. Backlinks are particularly useful when working on research projects since it allows us to easily connect related notes and organize complex information. If you're familiar with apps like Obsidian, you know that backlinks are a fundamental part of the application. Now that I've explained what backlinks are, and how they can be helpful, let's dive into Evernote and see how the new feature works. First, make sure to have the latest version of Evernote installed. This feature is available for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and for this demo, I'll be using the desktop version, and we'll flash the version that I'm using on the screen. Also, note that this feature is only available in the paid subscription plan, so either the personal, professional, or the Teams plan. All right, so let's pretend I'm a retail analyst and I'm doing some research on the most important KPIs for measuring the performance of a retail business. I've got some standard retail metrics here, and I'm gonna start linking to other existing notes in my Evernote that include things like industry reports, white papers, and other studies that provide insight. So I'm gonna click on this plus sign to insert and choose this option for note link. As you can see, this is highlighted as a new feature, do not confuse this option for the old link option, which is just above. I'm going to click on this and search for a note. I'll choose this first option here and hit insert. Once the link is inserted, I like to actually convert it to preview. It just looks nicer that way. So I'll hover my cursor over the link, choose the three dot option and choose convert to preview. Now that looks nice. Now I'm going to click on it and make this full page. If you look to the top right here, you'll see a little icon indicating that there is one backlink. This of course means that there is one note that is linking to this note. If you click on it, you can actually see which note that is. And if I click on that, it'll take us back to the original note. Now, if I wanted to link another note into this page, I just have to repeat the steps, go to insert, click on note link. We'll search for the note to insert. Again, I like to hover over, click on the three dots, and convert to preview. Now, if I navigate to that note, you'll see that there's the backlinks option here that I can click on and go back to the original note. So you can link up to as many notes as you like. Now, let's say one of the documents I collected for the retail KPI research, um, this one here, could also be useful in a project I'm working on for transforming physical retail. So I'm going to go to my notes for physical retail project and link to this article. Again, as before, go to insert, note link, find the note, click, and insert. And again, I'll hover, three dots, convert to preview. Now when I go to this article and I'll make it full size, you'll notice now it's showing two backlinks. First, going back to the retail KPIs note and second, going back to the retail transformation note that we just created. So let me click on that and it takes us back here. So in theory, the more backlinks a note has, the more valuable it is. It's great that we can now link notes together within the app but when it comes down to it, it can still be a little tricky to see how all the notes are connected. It would have been great if there was some kind of visual representation of the links like in Obsidian and Rome, something to show us how everything connects. But this is still a step in the right direction and I'm just happy that Evernote is continuing to put out new features. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.